Before we get into the video, let me just say, I will not be making a I'm tired of these females lying video on Sniper Wolf, mainly just because I already made a pretty detailed video on the situation, and I don't really feel like I have too much else to add to it that would warrant another full video on it, because I pretty much said everything I wanted to say in that video. But I will say, from the new evidence that has been presented it seems to me that censor is telling the truth i mean he literally went to the verizon store and pulled up his old text messages off the icloud like i mean that's pretty much like the best proof you can get and she's still claiming that he's lying but i mean to me it feels like we have another case of these females lying but that, that's really all i gotta say about it uh unless we get any further interesting developments i think i'm just gonna leave it at that one video and also i did kind of post like a little joke video about it on the second channel so overall i think i've really covered that situation enough i, I don't want to drag it on too much but now anyways on to the topic for today i just want to put this disclaimer out there because you know we, we live in a crazy time man we've seen a lot of ridiculous things in the world 2017 there's so many strange things that are trying to be portrayed as normal but this right here has to be one of the most disgusting things i have ever seen so just a warning from me right now before i show you the picture prepare yourself because i'm telling you it is disgusting so the other day there was a hashtag trending on twitter and i decided to check it out to see what was going on with it you know i'm always interested in the trending topics and once i clicked on it to look at all of the tweets uh they were all talking about this picture right here i'm gonna put it up on the screen now you're probably a little bit confused as to what you're looking at you know you're probably searching right now for an alternate explanation for what you're looking at but I assure you this picture right here is exactly what you think it is it is a uh, transgender man uh, and when I say man I'm putting that in quotation marks but this man right here is sitting on a public bench in the park and he's holding a sign that says periods are not just for women hashtag bleeding wild trans and oh of course uh we don't want to forget the most important part of this picture his fucking pussy is bleeding on the bench because apparently as you can see from his sign periods are not just for women anymore actually though last time i checked they are are just for women because you know I happen to be a real man you know biologically I was born with a dick it is really small okay but it's still a dick it still counts all right and my dick does not bleed every month if for some reason that were to happen I would be going to the doctor to get that shit checked out because that's not normal I wouldn't be sitting on a park bench holding up a sign with the hashtag bleeding while trans so I mean I'm no bio major or anything but it seems to me that yes only women can bleed in this way now this man was also kind enough to provide us with a caption for this picture but it's like a literally a 1000 word essay on his Instagram post does Instagram not have a, a word limit or something like Twitter has a very small one so people can't be posting shit like this but I guess Instagram doesn't have one I don't know I don't use Instagram too often but I read some of it I didn't even read the whole thing because it's it's real cringeworthy but I read like the first half of it and I think I think it's supposed to be like a poem or something like you'll see that it kind of rhymes I don't know but either way the point I'm trying to make here is that we're not reading this whole thing but I will read you the first paragraph just so you kind of get an idea of what exactly is written here and if you want to go read the whole thing you're welcome to but let me just read you this one part y'all know I'm trans and queer and what that means for me all around is something that's neither there nor here. It's a happy, scary middle ground. So when I talk gender inclusion and I wrote these rhymes to help you see, I'm not trying to bring up something shallow. Periods are honestly pretty traumatic for me. So yeah, you kind of get the point of what it is. It's, it's like a poem about how this dude is transgender and has periods 
kids or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's real weird. We're not going to read the whole thing, but as I said, you're welcome to go check it out if you want to, but I, I really don't have anything else to say about this little paragraph, but I do want to bring up this point. Is this not some sort of a crime? Like, surely you're not allowed to just be bleeding onto a public park bench on purpose that's not sanitary bro what if this dude has aids or something and like someone else comes and sits on that bench now they got aids bro like you can't just be bleeding everywhere so i don't really know what law this would break but surely the world does not allow people to just go around putting their blood on places like i don't know there has to be something wrong there you know what i'm saying maybe at least the park gotta tell them get the fuck off our bench bro like i, I don't know man but this is disgusting like imagine when this dude gets up there's gonna be like a red stain on that fucking bench and some kid's gonna come sit on it and not even know what it is now that kid's sitting on your fucking period blood bro like that's fucked up what you're doing is fucked up and honestly i don't even understand why you're doing it like seriously no disrespect or whatever what is the point in doing this like what exactly does this prove other than ruining your fucking pants because you can't wear those things again doesn't this hurt your case you know what i mean like if you're trying to legitimately be transgender you're trying to be seen as a male when you're actually a female you probably shouldn't show people that your fucking pussy is bleeding because that means you're a female because the rest of us males we don't bleed so you should probably try to hide that not broadcast it to the world and have blood dripping out your pants like i'm just saying man I, it just seems logical to me but I'm also not mentally ill so I understand that some people may not think this way and actually let's take it one step further why do the feminists even do this because this originally started with the feminists who just like oh look I'm a, I'm a free woman look uh, independent look I'm I'm bleeding everywhere check it out it's cool oh by the way I don't shave my armpits either and I'm 480 pounds but hey what's up with it you know feminism why do they do it like why does anyone just broadcast their period blood to the world like i really don't get the point of it i don't know what point you're trying to make it really just seems disgusting to me and it really makes no sense but i mean what can you expect from the same people who apparently take their period blood put it in some cookie dough and make cookies out of it so i mean i don't know man these people are just insane and you can't really question it because it's not gonna make any sense but with that being said uh i think that's pretty much all i wanted to cover as far as this topic is concerned i mean there, there's not too much else to say the picture really speaks for itself so just let that soak into your mind from now on like you could probably regret that you probably wish you didn't watch this video but hey shit happens so anyways before i wrap it up let me say one more thing if you follow me on twitter or if you come out to any of my streams you do know uh, i just got a puppy recently i will put a picture of him up on the screen i will probably be making some videos about him in the near future and i want to try to do a, a irl stream of him I gotta figure that out. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but just be aware that that will be coming out soon for all the people that were asking because uh, I tweet out a bunch of pictures and stuff and people want to know. Also, I think I have decided that his name will be Apollo. I like that name. He looked like an Apollo. I think it fits well. Anyway, so for all the people that wanted an update on the dog, I do have him. I think I'm going to wait a couple days to, to make a video on him because uh, whenever you adopt it, so I got it from a shelter, right? So I'll probably make a whole video explaining it and stuff, but uh, I got it from a shelter. So whenever you adopt them, they actually are legally required to neuter the animal, which I didn't even know. I thought it was like up to you, but they are like legally required to do that before they give him to you. So he just got neutered. So he has like stitches and shit he's not supposed to be like running around too much he's supposed to be like taking it easy so he doesn't like hurt himself more and it's gonna take a couple days for that to kind of get better and i think after like a week he's good to go so i'm just gonna give him a few days i don't want to get him too excited because he's already super excited i gotta like calm him down tell him not to like run around too much uh so once that's good i will make a video i'll probably take him to the pool or something and do like a video of like his first time swimming or something i don't know i'll find something to do uh i'll just record him or whatever and we to talk about it but anyways i just wanted to give a quick update on the dog he's doing good i'm happy and uh yeah thank you guys all for watching be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out